Hi everyone, welcome back to Sticky Subjects with Tampa Technologies. So again, you've got me, Harry. And me, Beth. And today we are on season three, episode three. Um, so we're still working through the new website. Uh, we're working through the applications A to Z. So hopefully by the time you've got to this point, you've listened to our first two. So we've done agriculture and aviation, haven't we, so far? We have. So the views are really good, actually. It's so, quite exciting. Yeah, really good. And then on YouTube and on my Tampa Tech Instagram and uh, my LinkedIn page, you've also got the shorts. So please take a look at them clips. They're really interesting. They're fun ways to look at Tampa evidence, I think, aren't they? Yes. So you only need like 40 seconds and it's a quick win. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> short. Yeah, yeah. And then we're uh, listening to the uh, podcast in the office in, when we want some afternoon <laughs> entertainment and education. So <laughs> that's good. Even people work in the office at Tampa Tech are learning stuff by listening to them. So this is really good. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So today is all about beauty and cosmetics. So it's a massive industry. It's growing. Yeah. I think the rules from pharmaceutical eventually funnel down into this world of beauty Absolutely. and cosmetics and it's all about sort of what touches your skin what do you consume um nutraceuticals There's a lot of regulation in this industry as well yeah yeah and um it was interesting because actually yesterday i was having a conversation with a customer about the ac regulation for pharmaceutical and how everyone then panicked and then everyone bought plain labels with no tamper evidence but they had a security cut and uh, we were just having a sort of a laugh about the fact yeah, that the it didn't actually do the no. job. <laughs> well, they, they got no teeth behind it, unfortunately. No. Un it needed to say unique tamper evidence, yeah. not just tamper evidence of whatever definition you fancy. Yes. And uh, that would have done a better job. So I think now everyone's moving to tamper evidence and then unique tamper well, evidence. Well, it's ed education, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody's beginning to have a better understanding. Yeah. I mean, even when you get your phone's delivered now, yeah, yeah. you have voided security messages on there. Yeah. So it's in everybody's day to day. So that it's not quite such the level of education, whereas it's when true. the directive came in for Europe, yeah. it was like, what is tamper evidence? <laughs> I mean, it was like... And what does it do? Exactly, and why? why? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, we were just saying that, of course, the point to unique tamper evidence is unique, authentic security. Absolutely. And if you're going to have to, in this case, pay for a label anyway, why don't we make it do the job we need? Therefore, we'll actually save on the loss because mm -hmm. these generic labels are not saving anyone any money. No. Um, because we can buy them from anywhere. Yes. Amazon, eBay, any label converter. Yeah, <laughs> and they're still having to print them and, 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 yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was good to see and hear that uh, the other, other side. people feel the same. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, basically anything you know about pharmaceutical, you can kind of cross link it into beauty and cosmetics. And again, anything it. you know with food, from agriculture, same. It's, yeah. it's about the traceability and the authenticity of goods. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So uh, on my phone is the new website. If you haven't already looked, you re really, really <laughs> need to. Actually, on the uh, on the pages now, so as we work through the episodes of the podcast, we're releasing case studies. They're white label case studies. No, there can be white label case studies on the website when you see them. If you want it white label or with your logo on, just drop us a message. Uh, but basically, they're uh, a key insight and real focus onto that industry yeah. and, and the solutions, that, that layered security offering. It is more effort. There's no denying it, but you're doing a job properly. Our job is to keep people safe, keep goods safe. It's a security solution. Yeah, it's not a quick win. It's a quick win in the sense that when you've had the conversations, done the education, oh, yeah. you're going to be winning, you're going to be laughing because you're going to be saving Instantly. money. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not a quick win in the sense that, oh, here's your label and everyone can move on. Yeah. <laughs> it, there is education required. Yeah, and I mean, we have included on the ebook as well, on the last page, this case study, which is um, an, a true story, but not with the name of the customer because of security, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. However, it does have at the bottom of it as well, just key points to remember. You need to know what the labels are being stuck onto. Yeah. You need to know what your um, expectation is for that label to yeah. achieve. And you need to look at other opportunities to use that label for more than one thing. Yeah. So those are just key points that we're talking about all the time. Yeah. And I think that's a good point because we've been really focusing on testimonials. So we've kind of always stayed away from this and testimonials are something that have come up when we're doing product training with distributors yeah. and we say oh we've had this experience we've had this experience but now it's a case of no we're sharing the testimonials and the the customer the end user experiences with the products yeah. so people can feel more confident and really understand the reality of how they're used well there's so many places that they are used and yeah. there's so many stories and we know them <laughs> and our distributors who are in specific sectors know their stories. Yeah. But if we can share the experiences and the stories with other people, yeah. and the way that you've decided to do this, which I think is great, yeah. is basically you've got the industry sector, but we've, we have protected the name of the company yeah. uh, or the brand, 
and we have um, attributed it to a person yeah. because that person has said it, yeah. <laughs> but not necessarily that person, just because we have to protect GDPR and, and privacy. Yeah, but oh, it's really important to share the savings and the it data is. because it is. We, look, we all want return on investment. It's absolutely important. These solutions are costly. There is a cost associated. But OK, we're going to save money. So that's a return on investment. And then we're going to make money. And it's how quick can we see that? Yeah. Well, actually, you can see that in some cases within one week of application. Yeah. And most cases, it's between two and four weeks of application that you're actually getting a far higher return on investment than you expected. And we're not actually asking you to change anything. No. So there's no change barriers. Because literally, all we're doing is replacing an existing label with another label. Yeah. Replacing a tape with another tape, yeah. but a tape that does a job. Yeah, and this is important as well because we've got some different applications and we've got partners in label application, tape application. So if you're using a solution and you think, okay, well, we want to speed up our production line, we need automated packaging tape, or we've got automated packaging tape, but it's wrapped up, it's leaving a mess everywhere, yeah. then we can also help you with that. Yeah, it's yeah. not like, oh, we provide you with the tamper evidence and you figure out everything else. It's We've got a whole package We're solution. A we are a partner and we are experts in this industry. Well, it's what we do. It's all we do. <laughs> I focus. Yeah, yeah. And we want you to use our skills in that yeah. and really sort of lean on us and let us help. Well, we'll and save you time and money by yeah. doing it because, yeah. we'll, you know, we won't let you make a mistake. No. The, because we want you to use our labels. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we <laughs> are using your labels. You're going to buy more labels. Yeah, yeah. It's quite simple. And the, we have to keep people safe. You yes. know, consumers, businesses, we need to protect people. And as the climate gets trickier, which it seems to be continuing to oh, do, yeah. like fourth year in now, so yeah. a little bit odd. But there we go. It's obviously the new normal. Um, <laughs> But we need to make sure that safety is on the top of everyone's agenda. Especially in this sector, because, I mean, I will buy most things online, as you will know. <laughs> but I won't buy yeah. cosmetics online. I won't even buy, um, you know, like uh, flea stuff for the dog or whatever. No, but, I yeah. am very nervous. of This sector, for the growth that it has yeah. and the growth it is experiencing, it really needs this more than most. It really does. Because yeah. it is just too vulnerable. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's been it's heavily too, targeted. It's too sexy, really, because well, it, it, is, it's yeah. just all the pretty packaging. It's yeah. all the pretty, all the advertising. I mean, if you think about it, you go to the movies, you sit watching your television yeah. before you scroll. The influence. You know, it's yeah. all about this brand. It's all about this look. It's all about I'm yeah, worth it. Yeah. You know, that whole yeah. thing. Which Shiny is, packaging. Absolutely. <laughs> so all that work is being done. And these, it's costing the brands a lot of money to yeah. do that. And this is really important because in beauty and cosmetics, we kind of instantly think, OK, we've got aftershaves, perfumes, makeup. Mess garments. Yeah, uh, uh, we've got fake tan. Yes. Sun cream. Oh, my Lord, can you imagine what colour you'd go with a fake well, tan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but the other part is we've got the whole uh, consumer electronics link in. Yes. Like hair straighteners. There's oh some my. horror stories about it. Yes. Pulling, and pulling the, those hair dryers that are not those yeah. hair dryers that yeah. suck your hair in. And it's then you've got smoke coming out the back. <laughs> And it's not I, your toast out I believe all of those stories, obviously. 100%. And anyway, as a brand, as a you know reputable brand, yeah. you don't want any stories like that on, online because it's the sort of thing that people click on and it goes viral. And whether there's any fact or not, it doesn't matter, unfortunately, with sadly, the internet. Sadly not. <laughs> don't bother us with facts. Here's a good it's story. Not great, is it? So, yeah, we want to make sure that the brands are protected yeah. and safe and the consumers feel safe. Word of mouth is positive yeah. and we can drive some positive change. And also by using using a tamper evident label or a tamper evident tape, whichever part of the process, which I know you'll go through, yeah. whichever part of the process shows the brand's attention to detail care. Yeah. and they care, they care about the customer, they care about the authenticity of their product, they care about their suppliers, yeah. they care about their supply chain. Yeah. And that's a really, really good, strong message. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't even need to charge extra no. and this is actually going to give them a USP. Yeah. And OK. You know, there's so many businesses with a unique selling point of we're going to really look after you. Absolutely. And we're, we're going to deliver better. Yeah. But, you can't yeah. have a unique selling point that everyone else has. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually need something unique and that's what we're going to give you. Yeah. And when you can sort of take the time to understand this story and, and the message and the power of yeah. it. And we help with that. You know, we come in, we do security audits, we're looking at the process together as a team and then we will use our expertise to guide and support you to implement the solutions. The thing is as well that we're incredibly enthusiastic about it. Yeah, we love it. And therefore, <laughs> when you're talking to customers who may find the packaging of their boxes a little bit boring, and then they 
meet you, yeah. it's not boring anymore. No, it's no. suddenly become, I can do this with it, I yeah. can do that with it. Yeah. So that's a really useful way for people to sell yeah. as well. There's a big empowerment journey there here, is. I think. Because there is. I think a lot of people, like if you're in loss prevention, risk, profit protection, it's it's really hard because it's quite a negative cycle. Yeah. It's a bit like being in customer complaints department. Yeah. Very, very difficult to have a positive outlook when all Absolutely. you're getting is negative feed. Yes. So it's a case of let us help you. Let's turn the negative into a real positive, and you're going to look like a shining star in Absolutely. that company when you've when you've done and these changes. And you'll reduce the need for customer complaints because yeah. there won't be as many complaints yeah. because Absolutely. people won't be turning out or burning their hair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's making me think of the Wonka the, the, film. I was exactly about to say the same thing. If you haven't seen the Wonka movie, you need to see. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. And Hugh Grant is, of course, amazing. <laughs> I, I love won't it. won't do the Oompa Loompa song. You're OK. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that for another day. Brilliant. So uh, the beauty and cosmetics packaging industry and industry as a whole is just skyrocketing it's absolutely it amazing i mean self-care is one thing but this just is this yeah. is the driver for it of course and and being at home you know sort of post covid everyone loves being at home in their own space which is fantastic yeah and looking after yourself and daily routines skincare routines and whatever else goes on it's all wellness absolutely. and mindfulness and generally yeah. looking after yourself i mean some of the machines that they sell the beauty products now I mean, I, and these I was, face masks with the red lights. Absolutely, yeah. I, yeah. I hadn't even seen them. Everyone's until, onto it. I know. Yeah. And I mean, they were coming. It was it was a question about where can we put the label on the box for this and the warranties. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my god, what is it? Yeah. I mean, it's just fantastic. <laughs> but this is the point. Like, if you're thinking beauty and cosmetics, oh, it's not for me. I don't know. Well, you do because everyone is impacted yeah. by this. It doesn't this. matter whether you're male or female. Yeah, from an electric no. toothbrush, which are a high priority oh of things to see and a counterfeit, in case you didn't know. know. Yeah, um, to the face masks to give make your skin better and make yeah. you feel like you've been in the sun. Um, to your mascaras and your pills, your vitamins. It, it is absolutely vast. It is. It's amazing. It so, is. Um, however, the solutions, as always, are quite simple. Yep. Yeah, and if you've listened to the other two podcasts in this season and been on the new website and sort of had a nosy at what the hell we're up to, then you will see a, a, a pattern here. Yes. So these again, these uh, solutions are customised mm -hmm. for the industries, but the the layers and the approach is very similar. Yeah. It's just a case of making it apply to the people with this problem. Also, just because in this particular sector, again, I know you said it before, but we'll say it now. Um, it's a very environmentally aware business. Yes. It's a very yeah. sustainable, they're, they're pushing forwards for their corporate social responsibility. Yeah. We fit in there yeah, yeah. really well. Yeah. And, and, and not just in words. No, in reality. no actually, um, you know, we can offer you a paper label to go on your paper boxes. We can offer you a matchy matchy metallic label to go on your metallic yeah. boxes yeah. if that's the route you're going. But a lot of people are downgrading, in inverted commas, yeah. their packaging yeah. to look more authentic, the originals, you know, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. And I think even more so, our label there just is a stamp of approval. Yeah, because in this industry, cosmetic has always been something like a clear label has yeah. been a very popular choice because it's never wanted to intrude in no. the consumer experience. But now there's a bit of a shift because we more go to sort of like your white, your gold, your silver. Yeah. And they look great, and it's then it's part of the consumer experience. We're getting them to engage in the label, yeah. engage in the fact that we're looking after them. They're keep we're keeping them safe, and then what else have we got? Oh, we've got a discount code. Oh, we're sending you to this page on our website. Oh, but join your loyalty club. Yeah, we're driving, 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 yeah. and we understand that. Yes, again, we're we're securing it. That is absolutely our job. Fundamental. We will stop the shrinkage. We will definitely reduce counterfeit theft. That is what we do in our literally in our sleep what else do we do and this, that's where it gets really fun yeah. yeah i mean we've been involved in um, gamification projects yeah we've been involved in warranty projects we've been involved in pure track and trace authenticity from the cosmetic factory to the yeah. consumer's door um so these labels do a lot of things they're very clever really they really are yeah, yeah it's good isn't it <laughs> i think so so just some statistics, uh, I'm just reading off the website. Um, so $12.8 billion worth of counter counterfeit cosmetics last year. So it's absolutely a global issue. And if you can make a small dent in that 12.8 billion, I think you're doing a good job. I mean, job. billion. It's just, 
You can't, I can't even. I can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it's too big to imagine, you know you need to do something about Absolutely, it. Absolutely, I would agree yeah, with that. Yeah, and this isn't a case of oh that's a win. It's a case of that's really bad. We need to help. Yes. And that's what we're here for. Yes. And I would agree. it's to make a positive change. And if you can make a positive change and eke away at it each day, then yeah. you're doing something. Making good. a difference. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. So there was 5% growth uh, in online shopping for uh, cosmetics and beauty last year as well. Which isn't as big as most of the other growths in online because yeah. of all the reservations that people have. Yeah. So if you're as a business looking that that is a route that you would like to expand and grow, yeah. then this really is an opportunity for a tamper evident label. Yeah, because if you look at like, I'll use Gymshark as an example because they, they their growth was exponential. Yes. It's pretty much unheard of, to be honest. And the way they did it was great because it was all online. Yes. So their costs were very low. So they could really focus on e-commerce. They got all their money in from their customers before they'd even shipped any uh -huh. goods. So the whole model is great. Absolutely. And then they've just started going into stores to get that people interaction with the brand and develop in that way. Yeah. But they were already worth well over a billion uh, pounds in value before they did that, which is amazing as well. So when we look at cosmetics, well, let's apply the same. Cosmetics has been a thing in department stores. Yes. You'd go in there, you'd look at your makeup, you'd look at your beauty products, you'd look at the consumer electronics side, you'd go in there and get your toothbrush, you'd yeah. go in there and get your Oh, well, We've had the whole Trini experience. Absolutely, we? yeah. So uh, that was, it's very normal face yeah. to face. We own, in that sense, you kind of associate the problem with beauty and cosmetics of people opening mascaras in the shop and then you going, I don't want that one. It's yes. disgusting. I mean, they must lose loads, mustn't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, the lady in boots said that they, lo they lose so much stock from people opening their packages. Yeah, because those little plastic seals yeah. with the, yeah. So the other part of sort of cosmetic, and no, sorry, yeah, cosmetic packaging is that plastic casing around yeah. the products. So, Single of course. Use, you know. Single use, it is a lot of plastic really around, and it's generally and it's virgin to get plastic. Into. Yeah, it's very annoying. <laughs> yeah, makes that horrible mess. Yes. So basically, we're taking that off. It's the same as what you do on DVDs, CDs. Um, we're taking off the full covering, and we're just going to apply a label. Yeah. You know, you don't need loads of plastic. You can have a paper label if you want. You can have a plastic label. Yeah. It doesn't matter because it's better. It's it's so it's much better. better. <laughs> yeah. And um, the labels are made from recycled content. The papers F FSC approved. So you you're ticking boxes here, which yeah. is great. But the point is, we need to actually keep people safe. Yeah. And we need to not sort of divert from that. So on the basis that we're moving away from department stores which seem to be closing down every week which is I know. horrifying i think it'll come back i hope so yeah but on to online we need to make sure that we can follow like that clothing and fashion yeah. exponential route and keep the brand safe at yeah. the same time i mean they could even if you know the plastic ones that people break off to see whether that's the uh, yeah. mascara wand that they want or whatever um <laughs> you could have um now you've undone me by me yeah you could have a complete guilt yeah. trip, couldn't you? <laughs> sort of a <laughs> passive message in the void <laughs> that's a real funny mark yeah yeah that. <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so, <Sorry. laughs> that's funny so the point here is that you can customize every layer and we don't want as I'm sure you've sort of got to by now to provide a generic solution it's all about customization because that's where you get true authentic security we have to stop shrinkage we have to stop people being able to copy the packaging yeah and that is how we can do it and yeah. that's how we provide protection and it has to be easy to update change keep get ahead of the curve 100%, as well yeah yeah and the other benefits are it's easy to integrate we're here to hold your hand every step of the way plus we can drive more business so it's it's a very fun way it is yeah it's exciting. Yeah. So on the website in this uh, sort of area, we've simply split the products yeah. into small, medium and large. And then we go into securing the boxes and the pallets because like we've been talking about, it's so vast. Yeah. I mean, in, in other industries, particularly, you know, the ones we've already covered, for example, with agriculture and with aviation, there are specific label sizes for label yeah. jobs. And so that's why we've done a life jacket label or a grain sampling label or what yeah. have you. But in this market, it is so vast. You've got lipsticks, you've got mascaras, mm -hmm. you've got eyeliners, you've got everything. Yeah. yeah. All the way through to, you know, the next size up, you've got your compacts, your foundations. And these see the thing here is on the uh, very expensive electric toothbrushes i did not know you could buy a toothbrush over 500 pounds let alone 200 pounds mm -hmm. uh, amazing <laughs> it was unfortunate that as you know alfred had an anxious night where he ate a toothbrush that's the dog <laughs> <laughs> so we are very aware now that uh, it is unfortunate because they are expensive <laughs> that's a that's a bad it was, it was a big expensive yeah. one that was yes. yeah 
So, but the label that we use to secure that box it can be the same label that we use to secure the, the compact, yes. for example, yes. or the one to secure the nail varnish. And then we, we could use a dumbbell instead to secure like the supplements that you want yeah. to make your hair better. So like you've explained on um, the airlines, you've got a situation where one airline could buy a label and use it throughout the yeah. aircraft. Yeah. One beauty cosmetics nutraceutical company could buy a label of a certain size and they could use that yeah absolutely all the way through yeah and that will help them if they just wanted to have their brand yeah and a, and a quite a simple yeah, void message yeah yeah if they want to do the track and trace then obviously that's sequential numbers that's QR codes a that's a bit different yeah and I think from our point of view we want to make sure you definitely have the right a tamper evidence solution for the application. Yes. So it's a case of it's not always one size fits all. No. So let's not sort of very rarely. Yeah. Uh, which is why it's worth mentioning when it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so there is going to be cases where you've got crossover, yeah. and there's also going to be cases where you need something. You need a dumbbell rather than a circle, and it's just a case of making sure that we adapt yeah. and adjust. Still in a simpler, no, not simple, smart method. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we make it simple for people to use. Yeah. That's that's the key, really, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, small labels, medium and large. When you say small, what sort of size is small? 25 by 12 millimetres. I mean, that is so very small. That is small. Yeah. So we obviously can't put lots of text on that. We can put some text, logo and number, uh, but we can't really we can't really emphasise a message. You no. can't fit a QR code and a barcode, for example. So I would always push for that because that's where we can drive consumer engagement. Yeah. And rather than just using the box for that, then we can use the yeah, label the and the packaging. actual product, yes. Yeah, because to get into it, they're going to have to pull it so you know they're looking. Yes. I was thinking the other day because I was uh, drying my hands uh, at a service station and they had adverts. It was one of them like Dyson things and yeah. it sticks and out it like this. basically blows all, yeah. the, all the water onto your clothes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about that so one. I was pondering. as But they had an advert above, like for <laughs> Subway or whatever, above. And I was obviously looking down to watch how yes. it sprayed water everywhere. And I was thinking that a good place for the advert would actually be on the top, the circle yes. where you're yes. looking, because just above was not no. a good place. No. And it's, this is the point. It's like, <laughs> where are people engaging with the packaging? Yes. And how can we make sure that we maximize the consumer experience and our brand push yes. with that and that's what the security audit but that's why they're so for. good at fuel pump stations yeah yeah because for, those yeah, ones exactly. where, where well, you nothing get the else to look at yeah. so i might as well read yeah. it <laughs> and if we can make it something interesting and fun then that's even and better. engage the consumer if yeah. we can get the end user the person that everybody's trying to sell more to yeah to buy this product and then more mm -hmm. and have a good feeling about it and share that good feeling. Yeah. I mean, that is worth a lot of marketing spend. It, yeah, it really is. <laughs> and it's really important because we want our customers to feel like experts in this. Yes. We want absolute confidence in the products, in the story, in the message, because then the consumers will feel that too. Absolutely. And if you know we're working with a, a huge pharmaceutical company and we're securing their pallets and the message for the consumers is so powerful yeah you know this pharmaceutical company are growing like something else and when we secure the pallets and as a consumer when we know we're buying something from them it's like, oh wow yeah okay yeah. i like that feeling and especially yeah. the supply chain is so wide and varied now and it's getting yeah. held up all over the place it's so it's canal at the moment you know <laughs> i mean it's all being so challenged along the way yeah I mean, I know you were going on to pilots in a bit, but I think it's important to understand that from the very yeah, we're inside. Very from from yeah. literally A to Z, yeah. your your ass is covered, basically. Yes. Yeah. And so I think sort of we've covered what we see in a shop, what we would buy online. So as a consumer, what we end up with yes. in this industry. So don't forget the electronic side of it. Don't forget, you know, cosmetics and beauty is not just mascara and nail varnish. Cosmetics and beauty is a massive, massive industry. It shampoos, everything. Shampoos, uh, toothbrushes, hair straighteners, hair expensive. dryers. Yeah, <laughs> they're another thing that's a rip off. <laughs> that's another thing that the dog likes. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, the, basically the industry is vast. And if we look at supplements, that would be where you're targeting more like a, a protein or a food company and then you've got sort of the makeup side of it and you're going towards makeup suppliers and the electronics, and, providers. And the electronics are coming from other brands yeah. completely so you need to sort of focus and decide where you, you're on looking. the website we've done small labels medium labels and large labels haven't yeah. we so the small labels are the teeny tiny ones yeah medium label is what size are we doing um let me double check so these ones are for the toothbrushes. 
and these ones are 70 mil by 30 mil so that's to get your barcode on right that's big enough then isn't it yeah but i would suggest if you are going that size that if you had a white panel then everything's a lot easier to 100%. read. 100%. Yeah, so a, a sort of a little expert tip, pro tip for tamper evidence Top tips. is to, to get your white panel on your label. Yeah. So a dark colour is really good because when it voids, you get a good contrast. When you put a white panel on that, you upgrade that by about 50% in terms yeah. of wow factor. So we would always recommend that. Yeah. Yeah. And it just ends up looking like it's got a board around it, so it looks part of the deal as opposed yeah. to just I've stuck a label on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the thing when you get these labels like 30 mil by 50 mil, 70 by 30, you start to get them a bit bigger. You can have little arrows saying peel me here. Yeah. So when you sort of look at what we do and how we do it, it, it is a case of let's talk to a consumer. Let's make it engaging, interesting. If they have um, an existing size label that works for them, yeah. we can make that label that 100%. size. Yeah. The reason that we've chosen these three on our website is just to give people an opportunity to understand that yeah. this is the smaller, medium and large sort of size yeah, to yeah. give them a starting it's, point. It's absolutely just a foundation yeah. here. And it's a case of we abs we customise to you and what you you do and then how can we drive that story for the consumer. Yeah. So uh, so we're securing the goods. We've secured the toothbrushes. We've secured the mascaras. We've secured the, the compasts. Hair dryer. Yeah, we're safe. <laughs> we're not going to set the house on fire. Everything's going pretty well to this point. And then we put it in a box and the boxes all look the same. So whatever's in the lorry is in a box. We can copy the size of a box very, very easily. Our boxes have been beautifully copied around the world now, I've noticed. Yes. They are very good. It's a, a compliment, I think. That's where we look at it. It's where we yeah. always look yeah. at it. Um, so it's very easy to copy, basically. And some of the bigger brands are get, now don't even bother getting branding on the box because they don't want to draw attention yeah. to what's in it. So there is some interesting strategies. Apple have and, never, never branded the outside of their yeah, boxes. Yeah. Their inside boxes are beautiful. Yeah. But they're outside. <laughs> People keep them, they're so nice. But yeah. their outside boxes are absolutely plain. Yeah. They're very, as they say, covert. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's something to be said for that. Yes. And that's because people know there's a problem. And what we want to do is when we've put what could equate to well over £2,000 worth of toothbrushes in a box, or if it's a mascara, you're going to get hundreds of them in a box. Yeah. So let's for argument's sake, call it £800, you know? Yeah. Even £800, this is a lot of money when you're putting 30 boxes on a pallet. Yes. Straight away, you're at thousands of pounds again. So the problem can be very quickly reduced and the shrinkage can really be uh, stopped kind of easily, I would say. Yeah, yeah. And what we want to do then is, of course, secure the box. So how can we stop a box being copied? We apply unique tamper evidence to it. And that's the simplest way. We can do it, like the tape behind you in this picture. Ta-da! We can do it covert, so yeah. it has no security markings on it at all, and it looks like every other packaging label yeah. tape in the building. So pe some people choose that for that very reason. It looks covert. Yeah. Other people put security and don't touch me and do not touch and open and all the rest Checked of it. fragile. Absolutely. <laughs> so there's loads of different choices, and we can do either yeah. that suits you. And to be honest, my recommendation is use it as a marketing tool. People don't need to know it's a security tape. They, we can have yeah. the brand all over it. Yeah, we can have a QR code, use it as a driver, get engagement, get people talking because the people in the supply chain that are moving and seeing the boxes are also buying these products yes. as they're also a consumer in their other life. Absolutely. <laughs> and then if they do start to pull it as if they're a, a criminal, then they'll soon stop. Yes, they yeah, might and they'll another, go and pick on they might touch another one of yeah. those. And it literally doesn't take long. It yes. takes about two seconds. Shrinkage to go, mm. reduces quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And and this is why we say, okay, you know, sort of four weeks, implement it, get it through the chain, you'll start seeing benefits. Honestly, you'll see them far quicker than that. Yeah, you will. And, <laughs> and unfortunately, a, a lot of people do have issues along the supply chain that they don't want to admit to, or they don't know how to manage, or and I mean, they're not on their own in any way, shape or form. Yeah. But this is a very simple way of preventing. It's a bit like having a, you know, my house has got an alarm or a CCTV on it. Has the house next door got it? No, they haven't. Yeah. Who are the burglars going to go to? Absolutely. And yeah. that, that's been, you know, what Neighbourhood Watch has told people to do for the whole of their lives. And it's, a, it's true. It's absolutely, absolutely true. If you've got an alarm on a property, you're not going to target them. You'll go somewhere well easier. <laughs> so that that is one of the most, you know, yeah. strongest messages that we can put forward. Yeah. It will stop. It's a deterrent. Yes. Yeah. And 
so yes, it's very, very obvious when someone's been in something, reject the package, but we're going to stop them going in first. Yes. Yeah, and that's the most valuable part of the job that we can well, provide. Well, it just saves so much time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're securing the box. We're driving that, we're starting that brand journey from the outer packaging layer, and you've now going to put it on the pallet. So the boxes, from being a generic box, become a unique box. Yes. And that's pretty clever because we're also going to put on I hope you've seen it, the, like the, the palette tape with the barcode, so we can put on the barcodes on the boxes, we can put QR codes, numbers. Numbers are great because you can have one number for each box. Yeah. And again, you can just have that traceability element. It saves a lot of time for different warehouses as well. And, and a lot of the systems that are used are now automatic yeah. because obviously there was a lot of people not working, therefore they weren't able to go to the yeah. distribution centres. So they automated a lot of processes. And by, by being able to have your numbers for your boxes and your traceability of your goods through their system yeah, yeah. on the outer of your box without any interaction. Yeah. It's just quick. And no other labels needed. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'll go and print this label and on this printer and do this over here. Human error. Yeah. Because it's it's just printed, it's there. Yeah, it's easy. They don't need to sort of select anything in no. a system. I mean, I know you're a fan of a scanner and a <laughs> in and out barcode -y thing. And it just fits in with that process, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, well, it, it's quick, and it's quick, it's easy, and it's accurate. Yeah. And that's all we need. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with yeah. any of that. <laughs> so we put the box on the pallet, and then we're going to secure the pallet. We're going to put shrink wrap around it, make sure that it can't fall off. So at some point, what, at some companies, what people do at this point is put uh, banding on the pallets. They do. So banding is And they will mix the pallet as well. Yes, yeah. So you get different size boxes. Yeah, it's and it's sort of chaotic. And then banding is very, it's not, not the easiest We're not task. good with a bander, yeah. are we? Some people are very good at it, and I admire those people. <laughs> yeah, and it it's is good. good. <laughs> For stability of pallets, banding can be good. Yes. It's not a security product. No, it's not. Banding can be bought anywhere. It's completely It's uh, a stability generic. product. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, it's basically. It's not yeah. So we don't need to get the two things confused. No. And the pallet security tape that we do is for clear and black wrap. Yeah. And then again, completely customized. So we, our example is a red and white stripe, sort of like hazard vibe. But some people end up choosing the green for the eco, make you feel good vibe. Yeah. Uh, we have to do. We're doing a blue version as well now. So it's just sort of. Again, with your brand, you know, if yeah, you're I a mean, luxury brand, then you can go for sort of a goldy color, brown color. But it isn't just the consumer um, cosmetic and beauty brands. In in some cases, it's actually the distribution companies yeah, that are doing it. Yeah. And therefore, you're getting all of that marketing on the outside as well. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you take, you know, some of these big companies that are doing like the hair dryers and the straighteners. Yeah, yeah. And all from the toothbrushes, literally doesn't matter. And uh, and then they'll generally be partnering with a logistics provider yes. to secure sort of that the the road bit for them. Absolutely. They'll do the product bit. You do the road bit. Everyone an expert multimodal moment yes yeah, perfect so if there's a lot of shrinkage coming from your logistics partner all yeah. you're going to do is scream at them it doesn't really provide a solution and generally people don't react very well when they're shouting We've at not found it works, no. No. <laughs> sometimes it makes you feel better but it's not the best <laughs> so uh, basically when we can go to a logistics provider and say well on this end of our supply chain when you've stopped dealing with it we know the products are secure so we know it's your problem yes but also this is the solution it's tamper evidence and this can be tailored for you yeah so you could then say to them oh well use this on our packages we'll buy it and you know give it to you and then there's other opportunities to make money on the products whereas yeah. if they wanted to start buying more tamper evidence for other customers and other applications then they can buy it through you or through us with a commission yeah. structure for distributing yeah, yeah. etc so there is lots of options here the other option as well not i mean i know we're, we're rude about banding because people think it's a security thing yeah but we do make a massive label yeah absolutely that goes over the banding yeah. so that that does then make the security yeah that it, it ups it, it. yes yeah and on that we've got the opportunity of a lot of spaces because it's a big <laughs> label um, and that label can have temperature control um, it can have signature panels it can have um, well anything you want on it basically uh, yeah scanning uv etc yeah so yeah. for certain certain applications that has been a useful label yeah yeah really um, good. and i think that's something that people can think about as well i mean i yeah. am more inclined towards the the palette tape solution yeah 
But I recognize if you've got the process of banding and you don't want to change or your customer doesn't want to change, this is okay. then this works. Yeah, absolutely. This is another option. Yeah, yeah. We can still secure your palette. Yeah, and it's still unique security. So yeah. you've still got your subsurface numbers. You've still got those layers. Yes. And, you know, some people print off a piece of paper with the number on that correlates to the paperwork and then they stick it to the palette and that's how they identify the palettes. This is this is like old times now. Yeah. You know, that it's not enough, no. to be honest with you. You know, these guys think of some clever stuff to steal things. Yeah. And that's where the shrinkage is coming from. Yeah. And these solutions are super and unfortunately easy people are quite desperate now. I mean yeah. I was seeing yesterday um, on the news that somebody got out of their van to deliver it wasn't Amazon or every I don't know who it was, but there was a delivery van. It wasn't even labelled. The van was just a, like a private guy who just yeah. did a delivery job. And somebody stole his car full of goods because they knew it was a delivery driver. Yeah, there'd be thousands. And of pounds they didn't. There. They don't even care what's in there. No, no, no. So it's just like people are desperate, yeah. and if people are desperate, then they're going to make Crime mistakes. Goes up. Yeah. And that's where we can make a real difference. Yeah. And you know, just reducing shrinkage by a percentage is a massive win. Yeah. You know, and we're going to do it by more than a single digit. <laughs> yes. And that's huge, to be yeah. honest. And it, it's really good. It's going to make you feel great. And to the go, well, that's tamper evident label or tape. And then we're talking about feeling good, consumer confidence, brand, shareholdings. You know. Yeah. It, it's amazing. Yeah. It really is clever. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the fact that we can also do because we manufacture them. We can make them any colour, yeah. any shape, any size. Yeah. You know, it is the martini of tamper evidence. <laughs> yeah. But it is just a case of what we've done on the website is show you standard sizes, standard products, just to give you a step in yeah. the right direction. Yeah, and on the website, it sort of showcases non-residue for the actual sort of on-product application. Yeah. Um, but again, some have permanent. So actually for like the toothbrush application that we've got, um, that's a permanent label and it's integrated. The message and everything is integrated to share with the consumer what we're doing and why and also tell criminals to eek off. And when you remove the label, it is dry. Yeah. There's no sticky residue. Yeah. Whereas when you get your little plastic bit of whatever they call those things, yeah. security around, tabs, whatever. things, yeah. um, they leave residue. Yeah. They're sticky on the product. So if yeah. you do move them, they're not nice. No. So although they are permanent labels, it's they dry. don't. Yeah. The, yeah. the dry adhesive is, is something that I think is worth mentioning. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. And that's the thing. So people are choosing between a non residue that leaves no message on the surface, but does leave a message in itself and cannot be so, reapplied. Yeah. So if you try to reapply it, you can see the message like the, yeah. it's it's like bread to toast. You can't take it back. Um, whereas the permanent, again, it's irreversible, but you end up with two bits that you can't stick back together. Yeah. And the message is dry on both sides and you can see it in both bits. Yeah. So it's not like you could then restick the label on something else and sell a tape over it because you can see the message there. Too. And there's loads of examples of this on our website of in videos on our YouTube channel. Yeah. In the so gallery. Th there's lots yeah. of opportunities and I'm sure Henry will overlay some of that to <laughs> support our story yeah. now. <laughs> 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 Funny. So I think that summarizes beauty yeah. and cosmetics, doesn't it? I mean, hopefully you guys are finding these podcast episodes really useful. I mean, the views are amazing. So thank you very much for those that are sort of watching and listening. It's, it's really great. <laughs> and, you know, we're, we want to share an important message. Yeah. And we're... We are here. We are experts in tamper evidence. This is our whole world and it has been for many, many years now. And it's a, it's great to share that with more people, build confidence, Absolutely. trust and make people feel safe again. Absolutely. As I say, it's yeah. exciting. Yeah. It's a really good time. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks for listening, guys, and we'll see you for episode four soon. Thank you. Bye bye.